Here at Rockwell Automation's World Headquarters, research has been proceeding to develop a line of automation products that establishes new standards for quality, technological leadership, and operating excellence. With customer success as our primary focus, work has been proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of an instrument that would not only provide inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase, dist phase distractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal grammeters. Such an instrument, comprised of Dodge gears and bearings, Reliance electric motors, Allen Bradley controls, and all monitored by Rockwell software, is Rockwell's automation's retro encabulator. Now, basically, the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it's produced by the modial interaction of magnetoreluctance and capacitive directance. The original machine has a base plate of perfamulated amulite, surmounted by a malleable logarithmic casing in such a way that two spurving bearings were in direct line with the panometric fam. The lineup consisted simply of six hydrocoptic marzal vanes, so fitted to ambifacent lunar wane shaft that side fumbling was effectively prevented. The main winding was of the normal lotus, O-deltoid type, placed in panendermic semi-boloid slots of the stator, every seventh conductor being connected by a non-reversible tremie pipe to the differential girdle spring on the up end of the grammeters. Moreover, whenever fluorescence score motion is required, it may also be employed in conjunction with a drawn reciprocation dingle arm to reduce sinusoidal deplenoration. The retro encabulator has now reached a high level of development, and it's being successfully used in operations of Milford Trenians. It's available soon, wherever Rockwell automation products are sold. Not bad, just two bloops. <laughs>